Hi guys, it's James from Punish Webster today, and in today's video I'm bringing you how to record your Xbox 360 and PS3 gameplay with an iPad, iPhone and iPod Touch. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like right now and subscribe, and yeah, look forward to more awesome gameplay. See ya! So over here you have your, um, obviously TV, and your Xbox and your PlayStation, but then what happens when you put it on your desk here, because I've got a new gaming set by the way. And then you've got all them lines and haven't really seen the whole screen and stuff. The best way to record uh, is when it's pitch black. My room is quite light at the moment, so that's basically a bad thing, but nevertheless, you can still do videos with it. Um, so, and then what I've done is you move your room around a bit, and I've got these um, just old wooden chest of drawers. Uh, and sorry my mum's a bit messy at the moment but and then I want to put my iPad on top of here and then um, put like something here to hold it and a box there so this holds the weight the weight holds this from falling because it's got a good grip on it and then when you what would happen it would be like because that's the screen of the iPad they're recording that screen so then look and then if I focus in there we go there's a good focus there and so and then it like focuses a bit better and then you can take that off so then it's a bit blurry always remember to focus your camera in by touching look when I do this touch there and it focuses it. See? Focused. And it would come up here in a a lock or something. There. So that makes a really, really big difference. And you're probably thinking, well look, the screen is there, so the iPad is here, and the screen's in the middle. Well, that's what I'm gonna show you. So, yeah. And okay, now you've got your videos. What are you going to do with it? So you're going to have to buy the Apple's iMovie, which is $2.99. Um, fantastic app. I used to use a different app, but now I've started to use this. Uh, this was, like, one of my videos. But, right, I'm going to use a video that's a bit of a fail. So you're going to go... Let me just delete this one. Right. Right, so when it says you want to create a project or a trailer, you're going to have to create a project. Say, so like, it will come up like this create movie. Then you pick what you want. So let's just go with, um, I don't know. Let's just go with news, create movie. And then, um, so for the video, say that I wanted. These. these are like all flops of videos by the way and then here I can double tap on the video like that and then I forgot how to do this a little bit but and then you can like when you go when you do it it will say when you double tap it it will say audio and video and then up here it's like this little zoom click that and then you can pinch it to zoom it so and then I would say that's like the whole screen there and then it looks a bit fuzzy on here by the way and then that's that so and then done that and then um, see I'm recording the video that I just did. See, like I've zoomed in on it proper. See, but so you've just got the screen. That is like really, really useful about this app. And then, those of you who want to be a lot more creative, you can go on the 
video here once you double tap Y your thing and they'll come up with a list of options here you can go on title and go on like that you can put a text like that and go on the middle go on closing which I probably prefer the middle and then you could write I don't know blah, 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 blah. there you go there's your text and then so this is it look See, so look, and then you can tap that bit, you can split here, and so you just split it there, and then you can do an effect like that. So, there we go, there's our effect, and then we can go on the play and see, look, it's got that, and it splits over, and see that title's gone away, title is gone. So that is come up awesome. And then you can double tap Y again and go on audio. Now with the audio you can add music, um, videos, sound effects, so like the theme music for Bright it's And then you can add like I report. Neon is good. See? Um, let me find the one that I'll... Well, that one's good. See, that's um, useful. And I can just add that in. Then when I play, it's like this. And then what about... If I just... I need this video to be like that and this to be like that, watch. And the bass. That sounds really horrible, don't it? So let's just turn this down to 107. Can you play it? See, so mute this. See, and then it goes higher. See, so I'll just, on its own, goes higher because you've muted this muted this video here so then this bit here is gonna go higher so yeah be like I'm gonna use that in a lot of videos by the way then at the top you can add sound effects um so like alarm apples oh wait what did I just add that music is proper based bell tower and just loads of different ones if you've got music of your own from albums artists songs see that another one bites the dust see that's just great um and yeah that's like the simple like way that i use my videos and this is another useful tip and then i'm gonna have to end the video here Got this this all let's see if I can hold it in my hands. You've got this little microphone, so then you click on the microphone. One sec, that's just my cat. Hold on. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, people. And then you can start recording. Oops. Start recording ready to record hello there everybody we're going to be right now see that is awesome and yeah. so i hope you've enjoyed the most requested video from some of you guys out there um i hope you've enjoyed what oops Ooh. I hope you've enjoyed watching it as much as I've enjoyed making it. Be sure to leave a like, rating and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.